This is the proving ground. Wrestlers from all around the world want to prove themselves on an ultimate stage. Well, this is their stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new era of wrestling. A new era of professional wrestling. This is BCW. Hello everyone and welcome to this new era of professional wrestling. My name is Trevor Parker and I'm here with my friend Todd Williams and we are here to kick off the very first episode of BCW Brutal Championship Wrestling. Yes folks, we are here for this new era of professional wrestling wrestling we got some great action coming to you tonight and just wait folks just wait this bcw show will grow even bigger than it is right now but you will have to wait and see now todd we've got some great matches two matches to be exact going down on this episode of brutal championship wrestling why don't you give us the rundown well, you know, Trevor, this is one of the best moments in my entire life. This is a very great moment. I'm honored to be here alongside uh, you as well. But like you said, this show is going to keep expanding and keep changing. And it's just going to get crazier and bigger, and there's no telling the amount of talent that's going to come through these doors here in BCW. But tonight, we've got two big matches. First up, we have a triple threat match. We don't know who the participants in any of these matches that are going to be happening tonight are until we get to the matches itself. They have been left unknown by us, but there will be a triple threat match to kick off the show, and the winner of this triple threat match will be will qualify for a match for the BCW Television Championship. We're going to crown a BCW television champion at some point in the future, but whoever wins that triple threat match will go on to that match. And in the main event, we are going to see four men battle it out against each other for the BCW world title. It's going to be a very, very championship-esque episode for the very first premiere episode of Brutal Championship Wrestling. But you're going to meet some new wrestlers here tonight, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited, Trevor. I'm very excited as well, Todd. It's going to be a very interesting show, to say the least. But without any further ado, let's find out who the three men are going to be, who, are, who is going to qualify for the BCW television title match. Making his way to the ring from Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico, weighing 220 pounds, Manny Consego. Here comes Manny Consego on the way to the ring, making his BCW debut here on the Trace Sparks channel. Yes, uh, we are live here tonight on the Trace Sparks channel. And like we said, uh, like we said, Todd. The winner of this match will qualify for the match for the BCW television title. And that's going to be very interesting which one of these guys is going to qualify for that match. That means next week we are going to see three more interesting wrestlers to see who's going to qualify to be in that match with whoever wins this match. You know, these guys are all talented. They bring a lot of stuff to the table. And I can't wait to see what they can prove here on the stage. From Aurora, Illinois, weighing 175 pounds, Byron, Dallas. 
Byron Dallas, and no, ladies and gentlemen, he is not related to Bo Dallas in any way, shape, or form. But Byron Dallas, a young, up-and-coming superstar from Illinois, ready to take his craft to the next level by becoming the television champion and winning this match. Uh, one of the be one of the smallest dudes in BCW at the moment that I know of, but he is looking to make a name for himself. You know, I like this kid, Trevor. I like him a lot. He has a lot of potential to potentially even become a world champion. He is that classy, that agile as a wrestler. It's gonna be great. From Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing 245 pounds, the hustler, Cole Romero. And a lot of people consider this guy coming out to the ring right now, Shades of John Cena. He's got the outfit, he's got the hustle in his nickname, in his name. A lot of people call him the black American version of John Cena. He might be. But we're gonna have to see how he does in the middle of this ring in just a few moments. We've got all backgrounds here. Tennessee, Illinoisan, a Mexican. You have all these backgrounds in one match, but one of these men are going to walk away as a qualifier for the television title. But who's gonna walk away with it? And oh my goodness, Hurricane Rana out of the way by Byron Dallas already to start this match. Canseco with some very interest, interesting colors. Uh, we got a very wide variety of characters in this match. But Cole Romero's already showing off to the crowd here in the BCW arena. Oh my goodness, did you see that, Trevor? Cole Romero is hustling through these guys. He's taking them all the way down, and Cole Romero, Romero is loving it. He's loving that he's in the spotlight. Look at that, another tackle. He's putting the hustle in his game right now, and you, and you gotta wonder, it, his eye has to be on the prize, uh, which is the television title match. And Byron Dallas coming back, the underdog in this triple threat match. Uh, like we said in the beginning, we had no idea, like, if anybody was gonna be, uh, who anybody was gonna be in these matches, so it's a very uh, shocker to us. Uh, we do know some of these wrestlers, but we don't know who won. Oh, and Byron. Byron uh, does not get the three count there. But Canseco, oh my goodness, what a suplex by Manny Canseco. We do know the backgrounds of these wrestlers, but we didn't know who was going to be put in these matches. Manny Canseco was trained by the late, great Eddie Guerrero, a veteran in the sport of wrestling. Manny Canseco gets dropped by Cole Romero. But see, that's why I like all these wrestlers right here, Trevor. It's a, it's a great opportunity for these guys to make a name for themselves. And like we said, this show is going to expand further and further than anyone can ever imagine. Look at the athleticism of Byron Dallas just throwing Kenseiko across the ring. He, he, for all we know, he could be a luchador, and we don't even know it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that move right there. It uh, looked like that Canseco was trying to go with a clothesline on Romero, but that didn't work, and Romero just socked him in the face for absolutely, well, not really no reason. He wants to get an opportunity at the television championship, and winning this match will get you one step closer to that opportunity. And Dallas going into the corner, and while Romero is just beating the crap out of Canseco right now. This match is going very well at the moment. Got a lot of athleticism, especially from Romero and from Dallas with his athleticism on the ropes. He's, he's, he knows his way around the ropes, it seems to be. And we look at that, Romero is choking Dallas on the rope. I don't even know if that's even legal, but apparently it is because the ref is not counting it. But oh my goodness, oh wow, what a punch in the face. He's gonna go for a cover. One, two, oh, what a kick out by Manny Canseco. Cole Romero was very close to getting into that television title spot. And Todd, I gotta stop you here. Today we are sponsored. Yes, BCW is sponsored here today. 
we are sponsored by the Home Depot. Uh, they helped us uh, get the tools that we needed to build this ring. They got the tools for us to help build this arena, the BCW Arena. And Byron Dallas is looking down at the fallen opponents, thinking about what he's going to do, and he elbow drops Cole Romero. Cole Romero, the biggest guy in this entire match. Oh my goodness, wow. Byron Dallas putting his life on the line to get this opportunity. One, two. Oh, and Byron Dallas was so close, but Cole Romero kicks out. Like you said, Home Depot, thank you for helping us build this arena because if it wasn't for y'all, we would never have this show up and running. But my goodness, you know, Byron Dallas, look at that. He's got him on his shoulders and 175 pound, man. One, two, oh, and that was a almost a, it was a 2.9. It had to be Trevor. Yes, Todd, it had to be a 2.9. It was so close. Close victory for them, for him in this match. This is outrageous. This is insane. It's crazy to see these guys go at it. Oh my goodness, clothesline. And Dallas putting it towards Romero, saying to stop it. One, two. Oh, Byron Dallas still cannot get Canseco pinned to the ground, but Dallas looks like he's about to end it here. Dallas looks like he's ready to... Oh man, and Canseco moves out of the way. What great talent and ring awareness by Canseco. Oh my goodness, Dallas. Oh, and a reversal. Look at that. Like he's like I said, the ring awareness and the veteranship of Canseco. But Romero is stopping that right now. I guess you could say that Romero does get his inspiration from John Cena. Oh my goodness. And the slam down by Romero eliminating Canseco from this match. But Dallas and Romero remain in the ring. And they are just going at it now. Look at the combinations. Oh, and the haymaker by Cole Romero, the Tennessean, looking to get his first championship match. If he wins this, one, two, and Cole Romero goes to the BCW television match. He will be in the television match in the third episode. But the question is, next week, or next episode, who will be the person that he will face? We will find that out next episode. Here is your winner, The Hustler, Cole Romero. There you go, folks. Cole Romero will move on to the BCW television match, but the question will be, who will be his opponent? We will find out on the next episode. What an impressive victory by Cole Romero in that triple threat match, Todd. It was a great, great match and a great... He had a lot of athleticism, a lot of great opportunities in that match. He bulldozed the competition in that triple, triple threat match, but there's no telling who his opponent is going to be in the next episode, and I can't wait to see that. You know... Trevor, you have you make great points. It was a great match of athleticism. He got to see a lot of different things. But Manny Canseco didn't do a lot in that match. It was a lot of Dallas and a lot of Romero. But, you know, it is what it is, and that's wrestling for you. Maybe they can come back from this and learn from it. But who knows? Exactly, Todd. I mean, it's all about working hard and getting to the top eventually. But we got to move on here to the main event, the big match. We're going to witness four wrestlers 
go head to head. We don't know who they are. Y'all are about to find out who those gentlemen are, and so are we. But now it's time for the main event, Fatal 4-Way match. The winner of this match will win the BCW Championship. And it's going to be a big history-making moment. So let's get on with the show. Let's do this. This man weighs. He is humongous. 287 pounds of man. And that is what is stepping inside of this ring. Cliff Cross looks to manhandle the competition here in the BCW. And this should be interesting. I don't even know what to say about this guy. This guy is one of my favorites to win this match. He has to be the guy to win the belt. But there's a lot of other potential talent in the back that's going to be in this match. Just can't wait to see it. And his opponents from Berlin, Germany, weighing in 211 pounds, Matthias. One of the outcasts, another underdog in BCW, Matthias from Germany making his way to the BCW ring. I love the outfit going on for Mr. Matthias right here. Uh, this man grew up in Germany, wrestled in Germany, and now he's here in the Brutal Championship Wrestling Arena looking to become its first World Heavyweight Champion. You know, if this guy wins, good for him. It's going to be a great thing to see if he does win the championship right here. But he's got to face three other big men, and that might be a tough challenge. And his opponent, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Weighing 338 pounds, the killer, Killian Kilgore. Killian Kilgore, not much is known about this ferocious looking man. Look how big this dude is. This guy is 7 foot tall, 338 pounds. This dude could literally kill you. That is why he's called the killer, Killian Kilgore. I don't know where he came from. I may not want to know where this guy came from, but the trunks, the color of the trunks says it all. He's here for blood. This dude looks like someone you would see in your nightmares. I mean, this guy looks like he could vice grip your head and smash it like a pumpkin. I, I don't know what to expect with Killian Kilgore in this match, but all I know is he's going to absolutely annihilate some people just to get that championship belt. And, you know, maybe he'll do it. Who knows? We will have to wait and see, Todd. It's going to be a very interesting match, and Killian Kilgore is the biggest man in BCW, and I would say... I would say so. I mean, there's a lot of things to say about this dude, but I'm honestly just speechless looking at the size of this dude, but I am ready to see what all of these guys can showcase here. From 
Fresno, California, weighing 230 pounds, Andy Alder. Andy Alder, a Californian-based wrestler, one of the other great wrestlers out of this, uh, out of these four men. We got a lot of interesting cast of characters here in this heavyweight title match. But, you know, the thing is with the BCW title, anyone can win the belt. It doesn't have to be a heavyweight. But we've got three athletic competitors that we've chosen to be in this match, and Andy Alder is one of them. You know, he looks like a surfer guy, Trevor. He really does. He looks like a dude that would surf the waves, and he looks like he's got all the confidence in the world to walk away with the BCW Championship, and honestly, I think all of these guys have the potential of walking away with the belt. You know, Todd, that is a good point. Any any one of these guys can win this championship belt, and it's a one in four chance, basically, to win this belt. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's for, the BCW World Championship, and one of these four men are about to win the championship. We're gonna have make we're gonna make history here, ladies and gentlemen. There is Cliff Cross. We got Matthias, Killian Kilgore, and Andy Alder. Who is gonna walk away in the main event? The first main event of Brutal Championship Wrestling here on the Trace First Channel. Oh my goodness! Did you just see that? Killian Kilgore just grabbed Cliff Cross by the head and slung him across the ring. What amazing power by Killian Kilgore. You know, he's going right after, uh, he's going right after Cliff Cross here, uh, Trevor. I mean, the, he, the two biggest dudes are obviously going to go after each other. Cliff Cross on the top rope. Oh my, oh, wow. What an amazing reversal. I did not see that coming. Well, if you notice in the background, Todd, you got Matthias and Andy Alder, uh, the other two men fighting outside the ring. The Battle of the Blues are battling outside the ring right now while the two big men are fighting inside the ring. And this is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness, Kilgore is absolutely manhandling Cross and he is fired up. He is going to kill Cliff Cross if Cliff Cross isn't careful. He's going to kill him. And look at the athleticism. The big man just jumped over the top rope. That's scary. And now he's going after Matthias. Oh my lord. Oh, and he gets thrown on the ground. Andy Alder looking to confront him now. Who can stop the Beast? The Beast, Killian Kilgore. This guy might be a force to be reckoned with here in BCW. Oh, Matthias getting thrown around like a ragdoll by Cliff Cross. Oh my goodness. Oh, I almost went for a double slap on Andy Alder. Oh, look at that. The first offense finally from somebody on Killian Kilgore. Andy Alder finally getting a move down on him. And now Andy Alder goes to work. Is he going to pick him? Oh my goodness, he just picked up a 300-pound man and kicked him upside the face. Matthias looking to work on Cliff Cross. Matthias looking to go for it. Oh my goodness, knee to the face by Matthias. The pin one, and Andy Alder breaks it up really quickly. But Kilgore gets back in the ring after getting dropped by Andy Alder. Matthias, the smallest dude in this match, he's got to do something here. To, to, oh my goodness, look at that, did you see that? Oh, and right back at him with the kick, my lord. Oh my lord, this dude is just kicking holes in people. This is ridiculous. Kilgore is literally big booting everyone. This is insane. Kilgore is really showing out here. But some of these guys are coming back, you know. Matthias thought the kick would work, but... Kilgore was like, you you don't want to do that to me, son, and kicked him right in the face. But it didn't really show Matthias' athleticism, though. I will say that, Trevor. It really showed his athleticism and what he can do in the ring against a big guy like Kilgore. But Cliff Cross now, Todd, look at this. He's going for it. Cross. Oh, my goodness. The Cross. The Cross pile driver is just hit on Kilgore. And Cross going for the pin already. Oh, and not even a one count. Matthias breaks this up. This match might go on for 
for days, for years, for months. Matthias going down. Oh, and he's on his back. Matthias is already eliminated from the picture, uh, Trevor. Kilgore, oh, gets thrown out of the ring. Cross wants nothing to do with him now. But now Cross goes to work on Andy Alder in this match. And, you know, these are two of the most athletic guys in this match. Andy Alder can compete with anyone. We, I mean, I've seen it in his older wrestling matches since he's been wrestling for quite some time that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. The neck, the neck breaker. Oh, Alder's going up. Look at this, Todd. He's going up. Alder's going up on the big man. Elbow drop to Kilgore. One, two, and Andy Alder was not there yet. Kilgore kicks out. Matthias looks ready to do something. Cross getting back in the ring. So much action going on to the point where I'm spitting everywhere on this table right now. Yeah, you might want to clean that up, uh, Trevor. It's kind of nasty. I'm sorry, but look at that. The knee to the face by Cross, but not even... Oh my lord, did he just kip up? Did, did Kilgore... Oh my goodness, dude. This man needs to be stopped. Oh my goodness, the clothesline. Matthias looking to end it right here as well. Oh, and he busted Cliff Cross open. He has busted him open, Matthias. Oh my lord. This is one of the most hard-hitting matches I've ever seen. Kilgore is one man that I definitely don't want to get in the ring with. But look at the blood. Look at the blood, Trevor, from Cross's face. That is what happens when you get knee to the face by Matthias. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh! And Cross comes back with a boot. Kilgore eliminated from the match. We're back down to Alder and Cross in this match. I don't know who's going to win this. It goes back and forth every single time with all these dudes. I just don't know who's going to win. Cross looking to go for the Cross pile driver once again. Will he do it? No, reversed by Alder and Cross and Matthias and Kilgore. Oh man, get back in the ring, but now Kilgore is the bully here going after the small guy. Oh my goodness, look at that, Zod. He big booted the small man and that's not right. I don't, I don't think that's right at all. Pick on somebody your own size, but I guess in this case it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, all of that weight on Andy Alder. 300 pounds of man on top of Alder. And Kilgore trying to go for the pin. Oh, but Matthias! Oh, brings down Kilgore to the ground. And Matthias is the only one standing. That's a picture right there. The only one standing out of the three big men. As he can he can obviously do something here. I don't know why he's not. Oh, and Cross just kicks him over. Oh, and there goes Matthias to the ground. As Cross just puts him down. But Kilgore... Oh, he's going to put a submission cross. Oh, and then apparently it looks like Kilgore broke up the, the submission. But it looks like Cross is still going. He's roly-polying with Matthias. Oh, my goodness. The the choke. Look at that. And, oh, man, he's just destroying him. I don't even, I don't even have words. He's going for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Andy Alder. Cross could have won the belt right there. But Andy Alder broke up the pin there. Kilgore and Alder are back in the ring. Oh my goodness, this is going everywhere. Alder with a great move maneuver by two cross there. Kilgore and Alder going at it now. This is the craziest matchup I have seen in my commentary career. Oh man, a right hand or whatever it was. Oh my goodness, a slam. The pin. One, two... Oh, and Alder kicks out. I thought Kilgore was definitely winning the belt there. Cross looking to go. Look at this, Trevor. Look at... Oh, and he was going to go for it on Matthias. I looked away for one second. And Matthias put him down. Oh, my goodness. Matthias is taking down both big men at the same time. But will he take down Alder? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, he did. Matthias. But Cross got back up, Todd. Cross got back up. This is an intense match. Everyone is everywhere in this fight. And who knows who's going to walk away with the victory. But Cross has gotten everyone on the ground now. And Cross doesn't know what to do. He's going after Alder now. And Alder's coming back, Trevor. He's coming back. Look at this. The slam. Oh, the powerbomb and the pin. Alder won. 
two, and Andy Alder has won the BCW Championship and has beaten two big men in a small fry in Matthias, but all the competitors were amazing in this match, but Andy Alder walks away, Trevor, with becoming the first ever BCW Heavyweight Champion. Here is your winner, and the new BCW World Champion, Andy Alder. Andy Alder has become the first ever BCW Champion, and he's going to have a big target on his back, especially from Cross and Kildore. I don't see them leaving the heavyweight title picture anytime soon. But Andy Alder's got a bright future ahead of him. Well, Todd, that was a five-star main event, if I do say so myself. But Andy Alder walks away with the victory by defeating all of those competitors. Better luck next time to all those guys, but I have a good feeling that Kilgore and Cross are going to be watching Andy Alder's every move so they can go after the BCW Championship. It's just going to be one of those things you don't know what's going to happen. But we do know what's going to be happening in the next episode of BCW. Now, Todd, tell us what's going to be happening in that episode. Well, uh, Trevor, we've got a lot. we got two matches once again on the second episode. We are going to witness three more wrestlers in a triple threat match to kick off the episode. And they're going to collide with each other. And the winner will face Cole Romero for the BCW television title. And then we will crown in episode three the first ever BCW television champion. But in the main event, this is going to be very interesting right here. We are going to have a battle royal match. There will be eight men in the ring at once. And that will also include Matthias, Kilgore, and Cross. But there will be be five more other competitors new wrestlers maybe some you already know from this episode entering in that battle royal and the winner of that battle royal on episode three in the main event which will be a big show because we're gonna have two title matches will face andy alder for the world title one on one whatever stipulation comes whatever happens it will be going down on episode three of bcw and Todd, that sounds very exciting. Sounds like some very exciting matches. I'm really looking forward to episode three of BCW. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it here on the Trace Parks channel. My name, well, if you like this video, actually, before we end it, I, I don't know, I, I'm getting too ahead of myself here. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment. What wrestlers you want to see here on BCW and what types of matches you would like to see. And subscribe to the Trace Parks channel. My name is Trevor Parker. And my name is Todd Williams. We'll see you guys in the next BCW Wrestling episode. Bye-bye.